Israel, for the Israelites. And, and I ordained thee a prophet. The Lord ordained the Israelites to be a prophet. Not Ishmael. Right? The Israelites to be prophets. Not Ishmael, right? Not from the lineage of uh of 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 Ishmael and and uh what's what's the name? Muhammad. Right, stinky Muhammad, right? <laughs> That's not who the Lord ordained to be a prophet. The Lord ordained the Israelites to be a prophet, right? Jump down to verse number 10. Jump down to verse number 10. Listen. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. Over what? Over the nations. Hey, the Lord said he has set us over the nations this day. We over the nations. We not the... All right, go to go to Romans chapter 9. Go to Romans chapter 9. Right? Go to Romans chapter 9. No, it's like, uh, not yet. Give me Romans 9. Go to uh, Galatians chapter 4. This is the book of Romans 9. Right? And verse, down to verse, uh, yeah, because his wife couldn't have babies. Remember, she was very old. Sarah was very old. Where's that uh, bond woman? That's Galatians. Yeah, yeah Khan. Give me the give me the Galatians. That's what I want. Three and six. Yeah. What three or four? Yeah, Galatians three and sixteen. Come. Book of Galatians, chapter three and verse sixteen. Right. Now to Abraham. And his seed where the promise is made. Right. And he said not unto the seeds as of many, but as of one. As of how many? But as, as of, of one. one. Right, read on. And to thy seed, which is Christ. Which is who? Which, which is Christ. Christ. No, Muhammad. Which, which is, is Christ. Christ. So, which one is it? Who's a prophet? Jesus. Jesus is a prophet, right? Yeah, prophet. Okay. So, if this is telling you that, what you're, if you're saying Jesus is a prophet, right? But this is saying... That what? It's not to all of Abraham's seed, but unto Christ. So, how can it be for Muhammad? How can it be for Muhammad who came from Ishmael and to Christ? No. Read on. Read on. Read on. And this I say, that, that the covenant that was confirmed before of Yahweh in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul. Right, keep reading, keep reading. Oh. That it should make the promise of non effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more promise. Go to go to Galatians four and three. That's what I want. Galatians four and three. Come. Even so, when we were children, we're in bondage under the elements of the world. Right. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman. Made of what? Made, made of, of a, a woman. woman. Right? So who is this talking about? Is this talking about Muhammad or is this talking about Christ? That doesn't make sense. Make Read. Made under the law. Right. To redeem them that were under the law. That we might receive the adoption of sons. Right. And because ye are sons of God, have sent forth the spirit of his son. Right. Into your hearts. Crying, Abba, Father, wherefore thou art not no more a servant, but a son. Right. And if a son... In the heir of God through Christ. Right. How be it then, when ye knew not Yahweh, ye did service unto them by nature, by no gods. Go to verse 22. Verse 22. For it is written that Abraham had two sons. Right. The one by a born maid, the other by a free woman. Okay. But he was, but he who was of the bond woman was. Who was of the bond woman? Which one of Abraham's children was of the bond woman? Huh? Ishmael. Read. Watch this. Read. Of the bond woman was before after the flesh. Getting bad out here. But he is of the free woman was by promise. By what? By, by promise. promise. So the free woman was what? By, by promise. promise. The free woman was by promise. Read. Which things are an allegory, for these are the two covenants. Right. The one from the from Mount Sinai, which gendered to bondage. Right. Which is Agar, which is Hagar. Right. But this is Agar, is Mount Sinai. Right. In Arabia, an answer to Jerusalem, which now is in bondage. Jump down to verse 27. 27. Right. For it is written, Rejoice, thou bad. 
the bears not break forth and cry. Mm -hmm. Thou that travailest not, for the desolate have many more children than they shall which had a husband. Right. Now we brethren, as Isaac was, as who? As, as Isaac, Isaac was, was, no Ishmael. As, as Isaac, Isaac was, was, right? Are the children of the promise? Are the what? Are, are the, the children, children of, of the, the promise. promise? So why? How can you say that? Listen, you still talking, but, but you're not listening. Listen, listen, listen. Ishmael is that's not from the why? promise. No, Isaac was the promise. Read on. Why? Now we brethren, as Isaac was, are the promise. Was the children of the promise? Are the children of the promise? Read. But as then he that was born after the flesh. Persecuted him, right? That was born after the spirit, right? Even so, it is now. Nevertheless, what said the scripture? What what? What said the scripture? What said the scripture? Let's see what the scripture has to say. Read. Cast out the bond woman. Do what? Cast, Cast out, out the bond woman. That's why the Lord gave you Ishmael. It just told you it's an allegory. The Lord told told uh Abraham to sleep with the bond woman. As an allegory of the of the law and the covenant that he gave unto us, right? Now we're casting out that bond woman as just as Abraham did. Are you familiar with that? Are you familiar with that? Read it again as the scripture says. What? Cast out the bond woman. Do what? Cast, Cast out, out the bond woman. woman. It's the same exact way because it's telling you that the bond woman was made after the flesh, right? And the free woman was after the spirit. Right, which is after what the promise. So this promise is coming through the spiritual things, and it's an allegory, as the scripture said, of the fleshly covenant that we had with the Most High, and now the spiritual one. Read That's on. right. And her son. For the and what? And, and her son. Wait, one more time. And, and her son. son. So he said, "Get them both out of here." Oh. Right. And 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 Ishmael gotta go. Get to stepping. Right. And the Lord did that as an allegory. That's that's the answer to your question. Why would he have him? Wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait. Did you did you get your question answered? Right. Read on. Damn. Cast out the bond woman. Uh huh. And her son. And her son. For the son of the bond woman shall not be heir. Shall what? Shall not be heir. Are we talking about Muhammad? Shall not be heir. Shall not be heir. Of the free woman. Of what? Of the free woman. So how if if the son of the bond woman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman, how can Muhammad, who comes from the bond woman, be no? It Muhammad comes from Ishmael, yes? Yes. Right? Yes. Confounded. No, it's not a uh, confounded, right? So if Muhammad, which is through the lineage of the bond woman, and Christ is through the lineage of the free woman. How can you say that Christ is a prophet and Muhammad came after Christ and he's a prophet? And we so that doesn't make sense. Read on. So then, Man, brethren, we are not this children of the bond woman. Hey, what the Lord say? We are not children of the bond woman. We ain't no damn Ishmaelites, man. Read. But of the free. Of what? But of, of the, the free. free. So we're Israelites. Yes, right. Right? And that's who the Lord is dealing with. The that's one that right. came from the promise. Not the one that came through the flesh. And that flesh, he had to do what? Cast off. It's an allegory. That's why he slept with her. Huh? You said what? Confounded. You confounded now, right? You ain't even know. Now, now what? I want. I, I need that scripture who I like to bring out in, in Job. Six and twenty. Job six and twenty. Bring that out. Bring that out. The book of Job, chapter 6. That's that drop the mic. And verse number 20. Right. They were confirmed. They were what? They, they were confirmed. Go ahead. Because they had hope. I want the one where it they says, came to after, after, uh, after he spake, they spake no more. Uh, I don't know that one. Yeah, that's a mighty precept. What kind? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So, nevertheless, right, we understand that Ishmael... In Muhammad, the Lord's not dealing with any prophecies that came through Muhammad or it never so, one. Right, they don't even have prophecies, but right. any any understanding what what's the prophecy? Like what? Like what? Like everything going right But they got it from the Bible. They have no that the, the Quran has no uh has no prophecy that's 
that's single to the Quran. Anything that's a prophecy in the Quran came from the Bible. Right. Errors? It's errors in the Quran. Did Muhammad write the Quran? Did Muhammad write the Quran? He did it. So, so how did so Muhammad didn't write? He couldn't do what? He couldn't what? He couldn't what? So this. That shit's crazy. Uh huh. So you're saying she? You're saying Gabriel the angel wrote the by wrote, wrote the Quran? That's blasphemy. That's black. Don't blaspheme Gabriel like that, right? I don't want to read. I don't want to read that. No, you don't have to read it. Right? You don't have to read it. Nevertheless, what 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 more business do you have? Can I get some of that? Huh? Can I get some of that? No. So now, now we got to go, go back to that scripture, right? Because it's about that time. Do you have any more business here? No. All right, so let's read that. Read that again. Cast out that bomb woman, man. That's Kush anyway. Read. All like that because you want to understand. You want to understand. You want to understand. Nevertheless, what said the scripture? What said what? What said the scripture? What we out here doing? What said the scripture? What we read? What said the scripture? What we live by? What said the scripture? Read. Cast out that bond woman. What the Lord say? Cast out that bond woman. Hey, and just like the just like the scripture said, man, had to cast out that bond woman. Go ahead, man. We good on that, right? Give me uh, give me um. Romans chapter 13 and verse number one. Cut crazy. That's what I was looking for. I was trying to get there. I got to study more. Chapter 13 and verse one. Right. Let every soul be subject to higher powers. Right. For there is no power. Huh? Jump down to 11. Verse 11. Right. And that nine, and that nine, the time, that now it is high time. To awake out of sleep. To do what? To awake out, out of sleep. sleep. What we out here doing? To awake out of sleep. We out here telling our people it's high time to awake out of sleep. Right? We got to get the hell out of Babylon, man. We got to get the hell out of Babylon's mind frame and their damn docile medicine that they've been force feeding us for too long, man. We came out of the womb taking damn sips of Babylon's wine. Right? But now it's time to do what? Hey, to cast off that bond woman, man. Read on. For now, it is our... Slacking. For now is our salvation near. What the Lord say? For now no. is our, our salvation. salvation near. Hey, the Lord said our salvation is near. Right? So now it's high time that we do what? Revelation 14 and 12. Right? Revelation 22 and 14. Right? It's time that we do what, man? Hey, we got to come back to the Lord's law, statutes, and commandments, man. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 22 and 14. 14 and 12. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That do what? That, that do, do his, his commandments. Command. Hey, what we out here preaching? That, that do, do his, his commandments. Command. Right? We out here preaching faith with your works, man. We out here preaching love for the most high God. Right? A lot of people don't understand that that's love for the most high God. Right? Give me 2 John 1 and 6. Right? Give me 2 John 1 and verse number 6. The book of 2 John, chapter 1 and verse number 6. And this is love. What the Lord say? And, and this, this is, is love. love. We out here preaching love, right? We out here preaching love. Read on. That we walk after his commandments. That we do what? That, that we, we walk, walk after, after his, his commandments. commandments. Read it again. The Most High said, this is how you love him, right? And this is love. The Lord said, this is love. This is very important, right? That we walk after his commandments. That we do what? That, that we, we walk, walk after, after his, his commandments. commandments. So if you want to love the Most High, you have to walk after his commandments. Let's get two more witnesses on that. Give me 1 John 5 and 3. Right? Give me 1 John chapter 2 and verse number 6. 5 or 6. Right? 1 John chapter 5 and verse number 3. For this is the love of God. What the most I say? For this is the love of God. And that's all we out here preaching, man. We out here preaching love for the most high God. We out here preaching reconciliation. Of his people unto the Father, man. Read on. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep yeah, his commandments. That we keep his commandments, right? That's a, that's a, that's witness number two on that, right? Give me First John chapter two and verse number uh five. The book of First John chapter two and five, right? By who? By who so keeping his word? 
And in barely is the love of God perfected. What the most I say? Bro, who who they keeping his word? And in barely is the love, love of God, God perfected. Hey, the most I said, you perfect your love for him by keeping his word, by doing the commandments, by receiving obedience unto him. Right? Hey, the most I said, what? Hey, you have to have a heart to actually willingly receive the obedience that he's given unto all men. Hey, he's given the Israelites the heart to have obedience. Right? But desperately, we choose to do what? Continue in wickedness, right? Give me uh, Jeremiah four and twenty, right? Give me Jeremiah four, and, uh, verse number four, right? And we could, we like to continue in folly and wickedness, man. Read twenty first. Oh, verse twenty, Jeremiah four and twenty, right? Yeah. Destruction upon destruction is crying for the whole land okay, is spoiled. Suddenly okay, are my tents spoiled and my curtains in a moment. Right, jump down to twenty two. Verse 22, for my people is foolish. What the Lord say? For, for my, my people is foolish. Right, the Lord said his people are foolish. Why? Because they continue to be disobedient. And it's a foolish thing to be disobedient to the one true living God that can give you everything. That can set you on high above every nation. Right? Like he promised us. That would be a foolish thing. Hey, you kind of can get anything that you want, yet you choose to disobey your father. Your father say, man, you know, anything you want. You can have, but you choose. Hey, I want to disobey him. Right? Read. Jeremiah 4 and oh, him, 4. Him, him, him. For my people is foolish. The Lord said his people are foolish because we choose to disobey him, not understanding that through his through our obedience to him, we receive power. Read. They have not known me. They have what? They, they have, have not, not known, known me. me. If we ask anybody out here the name of the most high God, they wouldn't know. Because God is a title. It just means power. Right? Read on. They are sad as children. They are what? They, they are sad as children. And just like a child that doesn't realize, hey, my father provides a home for me. My father provides food for me. My father provides clothes for me. He provides wisdom and knowledge for me. Children still disobey their parents. That's why he said, my people are sad as children. Because even though the Lord provides everything for us, we still disobey him. Read on. And they have none understanding. They have what? And they, they have, have none understanding. understanding. They have no understanding. Read on. They are wise to do evil. They are what? They, they are, are wise, wise to, to do, do evil. evil. So he said you have no understanding because your wisdom comes to evil things. Right? Why do you why are you wise to do evil? Right? We we kind of know how to do everything in the world, but serve the most high God. Read on. But to do good. But to do what? But, but to, to do, do good. good. Right, read on. They have no knowledge. They have what? They, they have, have no knowledge. knowledge. The Lord said we have no knowledge. Right? So we got to get back to that knowledge because he's telling us what? Read Jeremiah 4 and 5. Jeremiah 4 and 4. Four and four, come. Circumcise yourselves to your hoe. What the Lord say? Circumcise yourselves to your hoe. So the Lord is looking for a circumcision of what? Read on. And take away the foreskins of your heart. Of your what? Of your heart. So he's talking about your heart. The Lord says circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away that foreskin of your heart. What is the foreskin? It's unneeded things, right? That cause uh, problems, right? In, in, in medical terms, that foreskin can cause all kinds of diseases, and, 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 and things of that nature, right? In the Lord's spiritual terms, it can cause a plague upon your spirit. So you have to remove these evil things. Read on. Ye men of Judah. Ye who? Ye men of Judah. Right, read on. And inhabitants of Jerusalem. And inhabitants of what? Of Jerusalem. Read on. Lest my fury come forth like fire. The Lord said, lest my fury come forth like fire. Read. And burn that none can quench it. Right? Because of the evil of your doing. Because of what? Because of the evil of your doing. Our people have many evil doings. Right? And we have to put those things off and cast them away from us, man. We have to put off the idolatries. We have to put off the, the, the worshiping of men, the worshiping of money, the worshiping of this wicked system in Babylon, man. Right? The Lord said to put these things off and hearken unto him. Right? Read. Just read that. Go, give me uh, chapter two and verse Proverbs, I mean, the, the, yeah, Proverbs knew, chapter one. They would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. So the Lord said, I already understand that my children are not going to hear me because it's a stiff necked people. He already knows that we what? Hard headed. That's what stiff neck means, right? The children of Israel, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and native indigenous people of America are stiff necked. They hard headed. They want to do things their own way. They want to look to Barack Obama and Malcolm X and Black Lives Matter to uplift them instead of calling upon the name of the Lord. Right? All of those things are carnal, which a carnal man cannot bring you out of. Read. 
But in the land of their captivity. Hey, what is America? But in, in the, the land, land of, of their, their captivity. captivity. The Lord said in the land of their captivity, where they were slaves, where they were taken, where they were taking their land from, raped, robbed, and murdered, right? In the land of their captivity, what the Bible say, read? They shall remember themselves. They shall do what? They, they shall, shall remember themselves. Give me Psalms chapter 82. The Lord said we will remember ourselves. Well, how, why, what does that mean? Does that mean you're going to remember what your name is? Well, my mom named me this, and now I'm going to remember that that's who I am. No. The Lord is talking about your God-given nationality, the God-given inheritance. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to him. Read. Read uh, that. Psalms 82? Or? Yeah. Psalms 82. Start at verse 3. In verse 3, defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. No, 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 no. Psalms 83? Yeah, it's a lot. 83 and 2. Psalms 83 and 2. Right. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. What the Lord say? Thine enemies make a tumult. So the Lord said the enemies make a tumult. Meaning the gathering. Read on. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel. They did what? They have taken crafty counsel. What did the so-called white man do? They have taken crafty counsel. Right? The, the so-called white man and these other nations have taken crafty counsel against the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. To do what? Read on. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against the Lord's people. Read on. And have consulted against thy hidden ones. Right? They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Hey, what did the so-called white man say? Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. The, hey, the so-called white man and these other nations said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. This is why the Lord said in the land of their captivity, they will remember themselves. They will remember their Israelites because they took away this name. Read on. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's what? That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. Let me ask y'all a question, family. Did y'all know that y'all were Israelites? Y'all knew that? All praise to the Most High. Have you, were you born knowing that? You just learned it, right? That's what the Lord is saying. We have, we've had our nationality taken from us, and now we have to relearn it. That's why in Baruch 2 and 30, it said what? Read, read that again. The book of Baruch, chapter 2 and 30. For I knew that they would not hear me, because of that, it is a stiff-necked people. Right. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. And that's exactly what happened unto y'all. Y'all remembered yourselves when you learned you were Israelites. Right? You understand you're Israelite, right? You you weren't growing up knowing this, right? You just came into that knowledge. That's what the Bible's prophesying about, right? Uh, family over there. They could bring it in, right? Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. Okay. So, um, read on on that. And shall know that I am your home. The, the Lord said we will understand that he is our power, right? I am your how your power, right? Read on. For I will give them a heart. Did you know you were Israelite? You're Mexican, right? So you come from the tribe of Issachar, right? So you will be an Israelite as well. But the fact that you said you were Mexican is talking about what is what happened exactly. But but that's exactly why the term that you've been given is Mexican. We've been given African American, right? But the Lord called us Israelites, right? Read on. Yeah. For I will give them an heart and ears to hear. What the Lord say? For I, will I will give them, them a heart and, and ears to hear. Hey, we see this right before our very eyes. The Lord has given our people a heart and ears to hear. Read on. And they shall praise me. They shall do what? And they, they shall, shall praise, praise me. What the Lord say? And they they shall, shall praise. Psalms 111 and 10. Right? It says that we're going to praise the Most High once we come into this knowledge. Well, how do we give him praise? Right? By showing forth that love that it talked about. Which is what? Keeping the commandments. Psalms 111 and 10. Psalms 111 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Why is that the beginning of wisdom? Because you begin to understand that these commandments can lead you to a, a, a judgment of death, man. Right? And once you fear the Most High and you fear His judgments, right? You begin to do what? Keep the commandments, which is wise unto you. Because the wisdom of the Lord is what his obedience and rule. Read on. A good understanding. A, have, a good understanding. Read on. Have all they that do his commandments. Right. His praise endures forever. 
what the Lord say? His praise endure forever. So in that land of your captivities, right, when the Lord said you would praise him, it would be by fearing him and keeping his commandments. That's how you praise the Most High. Right? You can praise the Most High with tambourines and dances and songs and hymns and things of that nature. Right? But the ultimate praise the Most High is looking for is obedience. Right? He's looking for true obedience. Read on on that. And think upon my name. And do what? And, and think, think upon, upon my, my name. name. And that's why we teach the name Yahweh, man. Because we think upon the name of the Most High God. Read on. And return from their stiff neck. And do what? And, and return, return from their stiff neck. neck. It's coming out of Babylon. And, and return, return from their stiff neck. And hey, we're returning from our stiff neck, man. Right? We, we, we're returning from that hard-headedness that was put upon us right in the ancient days. Right? To this very day. You still got our people walking around hard-headed. Kind of don't want to put the blunt down. They don't want to stop fornicating with women. They don't want to put a dress on. They don't want to uh, uh, receive modesty. Right? Read on. From that, it's like it. It's like it. Jeremiah 14 and 16. 32. Oh, and, nah, 32. And they, and, it's like it. And think up on my name and return from their stiff neck. Right. And from their wicked deeds. And from their what? And, and from, from their, their wicked, wicked deeds. And the Lord said we got wicked deeds. Y'all got two minutes for the Bible, family? Family walking right there. You got two minutes for the Bible? Right? Read on. Come on, sister. Bring the kids over here. All right. Read on. For they shall remember their ways. They shall do what? For they, they shall, shall remember their, their ways. ways. Read on. Of their fathers. Which sinned before the Lord. Which did what? Which, which sinned, sinned before, before the Lord. Lord. Hey, our fathers sinned before the Most High God. Right, and you gotta take that re repercussion and come back unto him. Right, you can't continue to walk around this wicked ass Babylon place indulging in the wine hereof. Right, calling yourself black, Hispanic, Native American. Right, being a damn harlot and whore. You can't do that. You gotta forsake the ways of this wicked place, man. Read on. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised. Hey, what are we waiting on? And I will bring them again into the land which I promised. And the Lord said he would bring us into that land which he promised, man. Right? Uh, uh, New Jerusalem, man. Right? Read on. With that oath unto their fathers. With the oath that he gave unto our fathers, man. Right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them. And they shall not be diminished. They shall what? And they, they shall, shall not, not be diminished. diminished. That's all praise to the Most High. Bring that out. Jeremiah 14 and 16. Right. And the people to whom they prophesied shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem. Right. Give me 16 and 14. It's lucky. Jeremiah 16 and 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord. Right. That it shall no more be said. The Lord liveth. That brought up the children of Israel. Right? No Not longer are we going to say, hey, the Lord brought us out of the, out of Egypt, man. Right? Read on. That, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right? But the Lord liveth. That brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Right? Hey, the Lord said what? Everything that's going to be saying on the earth is a. He brought them Israelites out of America, man. He brought them Israelites out of Haiti, man. He brought them Israelites out of Mexico, man. Right, read on. And from all the lands where he had driven them. All the lands where he had driven us, man. The Lord is going to redeem us out of these spiritual Egypts that we're living in. The Lord is going to redeem us out of this wicked-ass place, this wicked Babylon that's forsaking the ways of the Most High. Right? And that's the faith that we be out here preaching. Keep these commandments, and you'll have faith that what? Hey, the Most High will deliver us from that flattery tongue of that strange woman, man. That he's going to deliver us from this wicked kingdom that has principalities and, and, and wickedness in high places, man. Right? Read on. And I will bring them again into their land. Into what? Into their land. And into our land. We can't even call anything that we own here ours, man. Even if we so-called own a piece of land, man. Right? It's truly not ours. But the Most High said he's going to bring us into our land. Read on. That I gave unto their father. That what? That I gave unto their father. That we gave that he gave unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Talking about Jerusalem. Let me ask you a question. What's your nationality? My nationality? Yeah. I'm half black, half white. All right, so what's your father? My father's black. Your father's black, right? So numbers one and eighteen. Because there's no such thing as half, right? There's no such thing as half. 
everything with the most high is done decently in an order, right? So he's got an order and he's got something established for everything. You believe in the Bible? So I'm going to show you what your nationality is. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. Right. Uh, and they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. Their what? Their they pedigrees. Declared their, what's your bloodline? Their pedigrees. Right. What's your nationality? Their, their pedigrees. pedigrees. This is how they declared their nationality. Read. After their families, by the house of their father. By the house of their father. So whatever your father is, that's what you are. Why? Because your father is the one that has the seed. It doesn't matter if you plant an orange seed in California or in Florida. What's going to come out of that? Oranges, right? It's not going to be, well, this is a, it's going to be the same thing. And it's the same way with men and women, right? When a man plants the seed unto a woman, she's simply just the soil, right? Where that seed is growing in. But the thing that comes out of it comes from the originator of the seed, right? Which is your father. So your, your father would determine who you are. Meaning what? And you would be a so-called black man, right? Now, what we're out here teaching our people is that if you call yourself a so-called black man, your nationality has been taken from you, right? Let's read that again in Psalms 83. The book of Psalms 83, verse 2. For lo, thine enemies... Make a tumult, right? And this this is David talking to uh, uh the Most High. It's saying the enemies of the Most High have come together. Read on. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel. They have done what? They have taken crafty counsel. So the Lord, brother, you listening? The Lord said that these people that hate him, the enemies of the Lord, which are the nations on this earth, have taken crafty counsel. Right? Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against the Lord's people. Do you know who the Lord's people are? The Israelites. All praise to the Most High. Read on. And have consulted against thy hidden ones. Right. They have said, come, and let us cut them off from being a nation. So they consulted with one another to say what? We got to make sure that the Israelites don't call themselves Israel anymore. We got to make sure that they're calling themselves Puerto Rican, Dominican, Haitian, right? Uh, Mexican, Negroes, Black. Right? Read on. That lock you. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right? That the name of Israel. That the what? That, that the, the name, name of Israel. Israel. Right? May be no more in remembrance. May no more be in remembrance. Right? So this is why we calling ourselves black and these other bywords that's been given to us by our oppressor. Because they made sure that we didn't know who we are. Right, but you understand that you're an Israelite, right? How do you know you're an Israelite? If you don't mind me asking. If if someone right, so if someone said, well, okay, so let me let me say this. There's a group of people that are claiming the nationality of these people on the sign, right? They live in communities and they are basically they say they said they're Jewish, right? So. How do we know that those are that they're not really Israelites and that you're actually an Israelite? How would you prove that? Let me give you the tools, right? I'm gonna show you how you prove that. Let's go to let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, right? Uh 29 and verse number one. Go to Revelation and give me uh what do I want? One in one and Four, not 14, but uh, where's the uh, synagogue of Satan? Synagogue oh, okay, Satan. Con, 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 I got you. Two and uh, what you call it? Uh, two and nine. Con, two and nine. Read that. Revelation, two and nine. So this is how we know that those Jewish people are not the Israelites. Read. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. But and what? And poverty. So first things first. Who Christ is speaking to in the book of Revelation, he's talking to those that are in poverty. He said, I know thy works. I know thy tribulation. So the characteristics of this nation, they have to be in tribulation chiefly, right? Then he said poverty. They got to be in poverty. If you go into a Jewish community, neither are they in tribulation, neither are they in poverty. As a matter of fact, all of the 
banks are owned by Jewish people. All of your media is controlled by Jewish people. All of the rap industry is controlled by Jewish people. So they can't be in poverty, right? Read on. They have their own polices. Read. But thou art rich. And I know the blessing. And the Lord said that, but you are rich even though you're in poverty because what? And you truly have the spiritual blessings from the most high. Read on. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews right. and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The Lord said, I know the blasphemy, the lies of those that say they are Jews, but are not. They're the synagogue of Satan. And when you get deep into the, to the rituals and the things that they practice, right, even down to them, the way they keep their Passover, they're serving other idols and gods, right? You got uh, 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 Ashtar, the, the, the fertility goddess that they have, right, that they worship. Hey, on their Passover plate, nowhere in the scripture in Exodus chapter 12 does it mention to eat a boiled egg. Yet it's their custom to eat a boiled egg for the Passover. Why? Because they're truly keeping what? Their customs and idolatry to their, to their gods, right? Read on. Oh, dude, that's it on that, right? So that's how we, that's how we understand that those are not the Jews, right? They're not the Israelites. So now that we can cross them all, now we have to figure out who are the Israelites if it's not the Jewish community, right? Deuteronomy 29 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29 and verse 1. Right. These are the words of the covenant which Yahweh commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. With who? With, with the, the children of Israel. Israel. So through the covenant that the Lord made, the contract that he made, with this nation, we're going to identify who that nation is today, right? Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Right. And this shall come to pass. This is the first term and condition to that contract. If thou shalt hearken diligently right? to the voice of Yahweh thy God. So if this nation listens to the Lord, read. To observe. And to do all his commandments. Right. Which I command thee this day. It goes back to the obedience. Keeping the commandments. Read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Will do what? Will set, set thee on high. The first term and condition is if you keep the commandments as a nation, you will be set on high. How? Read. Above all nations of the earth. Above every other nation. Right. So that's the first term and condition. Verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So that means this will happen. This is a, a foretelling prophecy. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. Y'all got two minutes for the Bible? And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. All these what? All, all these, these curses. curses. Now, all these curses. This is the flip side of it, right? The curses will come upon him if they disobey him. But it's something special about these curses. Read verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For what? For, for a, a sign. sign. A sign is an indicator. Right? So these curses will be upon us for a sign. A way for us to indicate who the Israelites are. So that means we got to do what? We got to look at the curses to identify who the Israelites are. Right? Read verse 16. Verse 16. Curse should not be in the city. So the first curse, right, is these people will be cursed in the city. Who can we identify today as cursed in the city? What nation of people? Blacks, Hispanics, and indigenous people of the Americas. Right, read on. And curse should not be in the field. What the Lord say? And curse should, should not be in the field. What happened to so-called blacks? And curse should not be in the field. And that happened to so-called Hispanics. They were cursed in the field. That's how we can identify Blacks and Hispanics are the, are the Israelites, right? But there's more. Verse 30, right? Verse number 30. Thou shalt betroth the wife. Thou shalt do what? Thou shalt, shalt betroth the wife. So it means you're going to take a wife. Read on. And another man shall lie with her. That happened to us during the time of slavery of the so-called white man, the Europeans, with the uh, Spaniards conquering the, uh, the, 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 the South Americas with the conquistadors. Hey, they went to those lands. They took men's women, their wives, and they laid with them, right? That happened then until this day it happens, right? Because what? Hey, America's system tells a woman she can leave her husband and go get another man. 
The Lord said what? And you will betroth the wife. Yep. You will take a wife and another man will lie with her. Right? How many black, so-called blacks and Hispanics have divorces today? We're leading in the divorce rate, man. Right? Because a woman believes she's been given the power from the so-called white man to leave the man that's providing for her and sleep with another man. Read on. Thou shalt build a house. That's how do what? Thou, thou shalt build, build a, a house. house. Read on. And thou shalt not dwell therein. Right? It says we're going to build a house and thou shalt not dwell therein. Right? On a carnal level. Hey, we're the ones that build these high rises. America was built off the backs of so-called blacks and Hispanics. Right? On a spiritual level, it means that you're going to do all of this, all of this work, and you're not going to gain any benefit from it. We kind of work a 40, 55, 60 hour job per week. Just to reap uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe a tenth of a percent of the income that, that that company receives, right? That's what the Lord's talking about. That's a curse to put upon our people, right? Nevertheless, these other nations own those businesses. These other nations flourish in, the, in this economy, right? Jump to uh, verse 54. Verse 54. Deuteronomy chapter 28 is exactly how you're going to be able to prove Hey, the so-called black man is the Israelite of the Bible. Read. So that the man that is tender among you right? and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. The Lord said that Israelite men are going to have an evil eye towards other Israelite men, their own nation. Now, when you look at the Arabs, they're in camaraderie. When you look at the so-called white man, they're in camaraderie. When you look at the Asian man, they're in camaraderie. When you look at the so-called black and Hispanic men, separate within the community of blacks, within the community of Hispanics, with blacks versus Hispanics, there's nothing but separation in the children of Israel because the Lord said they will have an evil eye towards their brother. Read on. And taught the remnant of his slacking. And taught the wife of his bosom. And toward his women. That means that the Israelite man is going to hate his women. He's going to pimp them out. Call them B words and H words, right? P uh, perpetuate the Cardi B's and Meg Thee Stallions, right? And not a woman of modesty. Not a woman of shamefacedness, right? Read on. And taught the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Which he shall leave, right? So the Lord said that what? Hey, so-called black man is going to be uh, 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 separate from his household. He's going to leave his children. He's going to leave his wife, right? And do what? Go off into the world, right? And be and be not a father figure that provides and protects his family. That happens to so-called blacks and Hispanic, right? No other nation, right? Read verse 47. Verse 47. Right? This is another curse that we can identify as on our people. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God right? with joyfulness. Uh -huh. And with gladness of heart, right? for the abundance of all things, therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. The Lord said the so-called blacks and Hispanics are going to have to serve their enemies because they don't want to serve the Most High God and keep His commandments. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against you and hunger. Right? Whenever you hunger, you got to go to your enemy. So-called white man, Arab man, don't matter. Even if I go to a Hispanic taco truck, where do they get their food from? Right? Read on. And in thirst. And in what? And, and in, in thirst. thirst. Read on. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. And in one of all things. No matter what you want in this kingdom, you got to go to the so-called white man. You have to go to the so-called oh. Arab man. You have to go to the so-called Chinese man. Right? Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What was the transatlantic slave trade? And he, he shall put, put a, a yoke, yoke of iron upon, upon thy, thy neck. neck. It says that that enemy is going to put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Dealing with uh, the so-called white man coming to the shores of West Africa and taking blacks onto slave ships into South America and into uh, the North Americas. Dealing with uh, the conquistadors coming to the South Americas and taking uh, 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 Hispanics into Spain as slaves, right? All of these things is going to be what? Them putting a yoke of iron on their neck. We can identify the Israelites through those curses. Right. And with that, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to let the next mighty and powerful teacher speak.